Good morning, everybody. So, we are getting the morning chores done. Hi, puppies. Hi, guys. Are you hungry? I got your breakfast. Are you hungry? Are you ready for the snacks? I'm doing things a little bit different. Woo! this morning because it's super pretty outside so I'm gonna feed the dogs out here so that they can stay out a little bit longer we're wanting them to get used to just being outside and in their kennel look at all these helpers are you guys helpers you ladies have started laying eggs. I saw them. Yes, I did. Yep, there he is. We came back to the roosters being really aggressive. So we've kind of had to try to put them in their place. Uh, that guy, Flapjack, has come at us a couple of times. Hi, honey. It's not going to be too long, and you're going to need one of those little back protectors. Wow. Are you guys laying eggs yet? Because we haven't found any. All right, let's see if I can survive walking past Flapjack. Go on, shoo shoo. Go on. Right under the RV. Oh. So, we have so many eggs. I think we have about eight dozen. We don't really have anybody to give them to right now. We had been eating a lot, and something that I've done in the past is scrambled them and fed them to the chickens. So, that's actually what we're going to do today. It's really good protein wise for them and it does not from what I found when you scramble them it doesn't cause them to eat their eggs <laughs> and that'll help us on uh, chicken feed. Boy, I do not trust these roosters <laughs> at all. So, we've been back a couple of days, and I have to tell you this story. Those of you that have watched our lives already know it. But while we were gone... Good morning, Quackalackas. Good morning. Look at you guys. But while we were gone, just in case my male corgi ran away from my son's house and he was just so stressed out with us being gone and being, you know, just the whole difference of everything that he really was acting out and kind of peeing all over everything. And for a minute, I thought maybe he had a bladder infection or something like that. Look at the lake, you guys. Such a gorgeous view. I'm so excited that the sun is up and we can finally sit back out here in the morning. I should have come out here and did my coffee. But he, I don't think he has a bladder infection. I think he literally was just stressing out and he's getting back into the swing of things. Um, we're, we came back and almost all the snow was melted, you know, kind of as you can see as I'm walking around. And that uh, is really exciting, except for 
this winter kind of caught us, I don't want to say by surprise because you know you're in northern Idaho, you're going to have a winter, but um, it snowed and it snowed a lot really fast before we could do yard cleanup. And so we pulled up in the driveway and just all of the stuff everywhere. <laughs> Not really excited about how that looks. So Kira and I are going to take the next couple of days and just do some really good yard cleanup and set ourselves up for success here on the farm. Um, I think that's going to make a lot, a lot of difference for us building and just kind of pulling things out and that kind of stuff. So that's what we're going to do. But now I've got to go feed the goats because they are ready. Also, right when we left, we had Ebony had given birth to six uh, kits. That's what baby rabbits are called, and they're all doing really well. I checked on them yesterday, and I'm just super excited. We got some really pretty colors, a couple of black ones, a really gorgeous gray one, and one that's kind of spotchy. Good morning, goats. Good morning. Whoops, I tripped. Good morning. Good morning, happy face. How are you, meathead? Hi, Ruby. Good morning, Ruby. Good morning, Monarch. Look at you, sillies. So these three are Carrie's babies. And these two over here are ours. Hi, sissy. Hi, sissy. Good morning. Good morning, girl. Hi, bud. Hi, buddy. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. Scratchy scratch. You guys drink all your water. Yeah, you did. Get you some more. <gasps> Are you supposed to be climbing on the fence, bud? No. No, you're not. Come on, let's get you some snacks. And it appears, and I'm going to check and see, but we had a chicken that looked like she was sitting a nest. I'm really hoping she's sitting a nest. Oh, she's still there. So we put... We put a bunch of eggs near her. So, and she took them and tucked them in. Hold on. Good morning. Oops, I have another egg for you. It's still kind of warm.
Okay, well that's her back in, but I think I stressed her out a little bit by adding eggs to her nest. We're just kind of picking up whoever lays whatever down and sticking it under her. What are you guys, you done with your eggs? Huh? You done with your eggs? You want some more? So if anybody starts sitting in a nest, we're just going to shove eggs under them so that we can hatch out some more chickens. We're not going to buy meat chickens this year. The wine and dots, which are the white chickens, they are a meat egg layer breed. And so we're going to just try to let them hatch out their own. I don't trust the rooster. Flapjack, I don't trust you, man. Um, and let them do their own. I'm really hoping these ducks start sitting a nest. Kira's going to fill up their pool. That'll make them really happy. Oops. So we're gonna need to check our water tank levels. You're gonna hear the generator in the background because that's how we move water from the tank to wherever we need it to go. And since she's filling up the swimming pool, um, we're gonna actually, let's watch the ducks get in the pool. They're gonna love that. And then I'll show you the water tank. But we do have to be mindful of it because that's how we get our water up here. Is through the tank. We keep that full. It's a thousand gallon water tank. They're ready. They are totally ready. Okay, she's got to add some oil, so we're going to go over and check the water tank level. Because if it's low, we've got to bring water in. And since it's not freezing anymore, we can start adding water back to the RV and actually using water here instead of uh, what we've been doing is gallon water jugs and taking showers off the property at the YMCA. So... Um, to make it a lot easier if we can fill the RV tanks and at least wash dishes here. Totally can. We have been ultra conservative with our water usage because when you add the animals, you just don't really know 
what how much you're going to use and the last thing we wanted those puppies <laughs> what do you think oh it's bobby i hear bobby hi, hi bob what you doing man hi. what hi so bobby is curious kitty for those of you that don't know and he gets indoor out goes through the window of her right there through the window of her cabin and we put up this little catio for him so he can come in and out right now one of the bobby's used to being a hunter he's used to being out and getting to be an outside kitty but one of the things that we're dealing with right now is we have a cougar that is in the area and has we think actually gotten a hold of a few of our chickens um the brown ones and so bobby can't be out loose until the cat moves on <laughs> and he comes up he or she comes up here every winter and hangs out in this area and then moves off to a different space but uh i'll show you what i mean by uh the snow melted and all of the things showed up it looks terrible but this is what we're going to be working on here in a little bit getting all of this cleaned up and starting new for the year all of that stuff was just under the snow so we have a whole bunch of stuff right there we have the lumber pile over here this lumber pile over here was all under snow so we couldn't access any of that wood we have firewood here that actually needs to finish being cut up and stacked so we need to figure out where we want to have our permanent firewood storage because we are determined to be ready next year with our firewood this guy you have so much to say Stu okay so this is isn't Stu this is actually flapjack and you can only tell them apart because flapjack is a little bit bigger and he flaps like that that's how he got his name so he's just a little bit chunkier than Stu. Stu got his name because he's probably going to go to the stew pot because he's very aggressive. <laughs> you doing pretty girl? Huh? Both of our turkeys turned out to be hens so we will be looking for a male. I was hoping these girls could hatch out some eggs this year. But unless we can pick up an adult male somewhere, that's probably not going to happen. Even though Stu thinks he's handsome enough to uh, have these girls in his little harem. <laughs> but they're obviously uh, in breeding. They want to breed. They're starting to squat down when you walk up to them and, and show signs of it's spring. And we're going to be laying eggs and we want those eggs fertilized. We do have quite a bit of wild turkeys that are around here, so there is a possibility that a wild turkey will show up and breed them. Um, I'm just hoping he doesn't steal them. <laughs> but one of our next really big outside projects that I'm super excited about is the garden and the orchard and let me show you so the the shipping container tiny house is right there and it's being built right now so if you are not familiar with what we're doing here on because we can farms we show you our whole build series and building this shipping container tiny house and so directly across from here where that water bucket is we're gonna put a path going right here 
and then add a gate in this area right between these two posts so we'll put in some permanent posts and put a gate here and then all of that in there needs to be cleared out this whole area which is the goat area Carrie will be taking her goats so it'll just be Bud and Sissy for a bit and then we'll be adding some sheep most likely but we're going to start this area into a garden and we're going to obviously do the hugel culture because it's really good for drought areas and we have a lot of drought here so the next couple of days we're going to be cutting down these little trees so that there's a whole bunch of them if you look in here they're real small and the goats can start cleaning those up and peeling the bark and eating all the um, needles off of them and all of that kind of stuff generator does not want to start this morning those ducks are not going to get any water if that sucker doesn't start um but the weather is supposed to be in the 50s all week and very little rain so we should dry out a bit and we're just going to take a little bit of time every day and try to start cleaning a little bit we have so much to do we really wanted to get the tiny house finished um, before spring it just didn't happen but um, we're limited by budget <laughs> so we can't do a lot of things super fast but um, we have some orchard trees some cherries some apples some pears and some peaches and we have some garden starts that a friend is starting for us under her grow lights and we're really ready to get the ducks moved into a new enclosure with a bigger pond, bigger pool, and, and then we'll be putting in the orchard, putting in the fruit trees. Okay, so I got the generator to start. Um, so there's a couple of things that we're going to do today. And one of them is try to get a bigger space, clean up out underneath the bunnies. We move them to the barn area, the goat barn, while we were um, gone for the Oki Homestead Expo. And with Ebony having six babies, we need to get her a bigger space because those babies are gonna grow really, really fast. So I'm going to flip you around while I talk to you and let you see the duck. So we've got to look at a bigger space for her and those babies to grow out in. And we do have a little pen that we can set up and move her to where she'll have a little bit more space. And then we also need to rebreed Lily, the gray rabbit, so that she can have a chance at having a litter. The male is acting like he is very interested in her and so we're gonna go uh, let them breed today. So that's that's what we plan on doing today after we finish with these chores. So we moved our rabbit, big rabbit grow out pen and the babies to in here. This gives her a whole lot more room. Let's see if she can find her baby bucket. Is 
like there's my babies. Boy, that one's like super advanced. Mm -hmm. There's that other black one that's real big like that. So cute. Do you think, Mama? I hope that baby doesn't fall out of there. She's like, hmm. We actually may want to move that more into the center. Because I don't know if that little guy can fall out and fall out of the cage, you know? Mm-hmm. So far, all he's doing is just looking for mama. Yeah, she jumped in there. It's like mama's in here, so it must be feeding time. <laughs> I really want to hold it. Yeah, but we don't want to stress her out. What do you think, Ebony? Pretty girl? That's way better, huh? That's way better. I'm oh, pretty. Huh, you should do this. Yes, it is. There she goes. Look at the face on that little booger. It's like I'm ready to go back into the warmth with my buddies. So this cage, I got off Amazon. I'll try to find a link for it. I bought it a couple of years ago actually for my cat because he wanted to be indoor outdoor kitty and I did not want him outside. So we made him a little cat area so that he could go outside and enjoy the sun. But it is made actually for rabbits or cats. So um, I'm hoping this will work. <laughs> it should. Um, I do think that we're going to put a tarp over the top of it so that the chickens can't climb up on there and poop on top of the babies. The ducks are super happy. Come look at them. Of course, we overflowed a little bit. We were distracted. Do you have a mud puddle? So we're going to finish hooking up her water and her feed, get the goats their water, and then get on with cleanup of the yard. <laughs> 